How you doing guys, Eric from WorldWasteland.com. Today, I have to talk to you about one of the most important and urgent things. Spam. I'm never gonna pass up a good opportunity to put pictures of my meat on the internet. Bruh. And as you know, spam is a critical component of anyone who would consider themselves a prepper. And uh, actually, it's one of the things that people, some people don't like this stuff, but when it comes down to it, it's one of the best ways to store meat uh, for people who don't have a fortune to spend on freeze-dried. So freeze-dried is probably, by most metrics, other than cost, the best way. Maintains the flavor, it's the lightest weight and all that stuff, you have more options. But uh, it is very, very expensive. As opposed to canned meats, which are only slightly more expensive than buying just regular. If you can can it yourself, that works too. A lot of people don't want to have to deal with that operation or wonder if they did it right. But spam, when it comes to a lot of the canned goods, has a large amount of calories per a relatively small amount of money, especially when it comes to canned meats or just meat in general. And a uh, mix of fat and protein, which are the hardest things to store long term. Calorie or carbs is easy. Um, Fats and proteins are much, much harder. So you gotta have some sort of meat. So spam is one of the good ones. Now I know you can save a lot of money at the time of purchase if you go with the generic spam, but the Walmart brand spam. And taste wise and everything, I don't really have a problem with it, but I have had such a bad experience with the seals on those things busting that a lot of times I won't even have like, I'll have gotten home from the grocery store and a couple of them will have been like popped just from like jostling in the car. And speaking of jostling, Go ahead and pick up some of these. When you're at the grocery store, just grab some of these. Even if you're not buying that much spam, there's usually gonna be one or two of these in the on the shelf. Every time you're there, just go by the shelf. And if there's one that's like almost empty and only has one can in, just take the can out, take the cardboard box, and just buy it with them, they won't care. Um, they're just gonna recycle it or throw it away. So I get the, the real ones, so I don't bust a seal. But that does mean it's slightly more expensive. But here's a tip. Check on Amazon, weirdly enough because a lot of times recently they've had really good prices on canned goods. These, even the soups, I watched a video, I think it was Sunshine State Survival or something, where she was talking about uh, buying the canned soups and those were like, I don't stock those anymore because first of all, they're, they're actually like more expensive per calorie. They're like a little bit more usually than a can of Spam, sometimes the same price and uh, they have about half the calories as a can, or not spam, chili. About the same as the stag chili, but they're like half the calories. So I go with the chili instead. But for the meats, they have spam. I got these for like 230 or something on Amazon. I'll put the link down there. Uh, whereas they're like 350, 379 at the store, depending on it. So, and if you have Prime, even that, the soups, a lot of them, if you just keep checking back, they have some weird deals sometimes to where you can, uh, get in crazy prices on a lot cheaper than even Walmart. So definitely something to check out. Um, make sure you stock up on all your spams. They got all kinds. We got the spam bacon, we got the less, I usually get the less sodium if it's an option just cause no reason to have more salt than you need. Let me know what do you guys think. Are you spam fans? Are you guys try to brave the weak seals of the generics? Great value spam, luncheon meat. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, I'll talk to you soon.